Russell. Bad pass, but it finds its way to James, who has to hoist it up. And he bags it in! Wow! LeBron James with the shot clock expiring. Had to throw it. Are you ready for some mind-blowing stats and jaw-dropping plays? Because we're about to break down the season that LeBron James is having with the Los Angeles Lakers at the age of 38. Spoiler alert, it's one of the most impressive seasons in NBA history. Two. LeBron going to the rim. Here he goes. We know you might be thinking, how is it possible for a player to dominate the league like this at 38? But trust us, LeBron is not just any player. He's a living legend, and this season he's proving that he's still got it. From buzzer beaters to insane dunks, we're going to show you exactly why LeBron is the king of the court. Some of you may be thinking that, yeah, he's had a great career, but there's Michael Jordan, there's Kobe Bryant. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how LeBron's 20th season stacks up against some of the greatest to ever play the game. So, get ready to be blown away, because this is a video that you won't want to miss. LeBron James at 38? More like LeBron James at his absolute best. Cleveland is without Dean Wade. He's going to be gone as LeBron James gets the first bucket. To start off the 2022-2023 NBA season, LeBron decided to put speculations of his impending free agency aside by re-signing a two-year $97 million deal to stay with the Lakers. This contract, which will make him the highest paid NBA player in league history at $528 million, allowed LeBron and his teammates to focus on the season. New head coach Darvin Ham was hired to lead the Lakers for the season. The emphasis was for perennial All-NBA center Anthony Davis to become the number one option. This decision was made to take the burden of the offensive load off LeBron as he ages. The basketball gods had other ideas. The often injured AD once again missed a significant portion of the season, suiting up for only 56 games. The medical staff has taken him back to the locker room. Chris Russell Westbrook was asked to come off the bench for the majority of the season before he was traded, and as a result, LeBron had to once again carry the offensive load and carry he did. The King showed us all this year why he is the GOAT, putting up one of the best statistical seasons of his career at 38 years old. It was all eyes on James as he started the season just a stone's throw away from the NBA's all-time scoring record held by the legendary Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And as he has since he entered the league as an 18-year-old, LeBron delivered. In December and January with AD out, he put the Lakers on his back. The guy was on fire, averaging 31.8 points and 33.2 points in those months leading up to the record-breaking night. Squaring off, LeBron with the, the basketball spin. LeBron in the lane, put up and in, Canada! Finally, on February 7, 2023 against the Oklahoma City Thunder, LeBron hit a smooth one-legged fadeaway to make NBA history and break the scoring record. Coming to the end of the third quarter, LeBron James, a shot in history, Kareem's long-standing record of 38,387 points held for almost 40 years was no match for King James. But wait, there's more. LeBron wasn't just about the points. He also made his mark as the NBA's fourth-highest assist leader, leaving behind greats like Mark Jackson and Steve Nash. Can we talk about his greatness because he definitely left us in awe? This season, LeBron put up a ridiculous 28.9 points, 8.3 rebounds, and 6.8 assists while shooting 50% from the field. Finds Morant. Morant blocked by Davis. LeBron made that, but it was late. The 28.9 points per game is the fifth highest LeBron has ever averaged. This just proves the King is not slowing down. In fact, since he turned 38, he's averaged 30 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 7.1 assists per game. No one has ever come close to these numbers at 38. As a matter of fact, the only other NBA player who's averaged within 10 points of LeBron's numbers at 38 years old is the great Michael Jordan, who only averaged 22.4 points as a 40-year-old with the Wizards. And for the stat nerds out there, here's another look at how impressive LeBron's 28.9 points is when we compare it against the all-time greats in their 20th season. We'll let you digest that one for yourselves. Another part of LeBron's greatness has to be credited to his insane durability. His 33% usage rate was the second highest amongst players 38 and above, only trailing MJ's 36% in the 2001-2002 season with a poor Washington Wizards squad. And although the heavy workload might have led to LeBron's ankle injury this year, he proved to be superhuman with how quickly he was able to recover. Um, when the doctors told me I was uh, healing faster than anybody I've seen before with the injury. But let's face it, despite his amazing feats, some media and naysayers still refuse to acknowledge his greatness. But that's okay, because King James doesn't need their validation. 
This season, he's once again proved why he's the GOAT by adding more remarkable achievements to his already impressive resume. With the Lakers advancing to at least the second round this year, there is a possibility they can win the championship. If they are indeed able to get to the finals and contend for another championship, there should be no doubt that the GOAT debate will truly be over. So let's all just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show while the King is still playing and dominating the court. And the rebound out to LeBron James, who fires one down as LeBron goes strong to the rack.